You are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all and make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Faithful to the teaching of Jesus, we pray just as he taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. And in your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer to each other then a sign of that peace.
the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, and happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer by St. Bernard of Clairvaux. As I cannot this day enjoy the happiness of assisting at the Holy Mysteries, O oh my God, I transport myself in spirit at the foot of your altar. I unite with the Church, which by the hands of the priest offers you your adorable Son in the Holy Sacrifice. I offer myself with him, by him, and in his name. I adore, I praise, and thank you, imploring your mercy, invoking your assistance, and presenting you the homage I owe you as my Creator, the love due to you as my Savior. Amen. And let us pray. Lord, may our participation in the Eucharist increase your life in us, cleanse us from sin, and make us increasingly worthy of this holy sacrament. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in the peace of Christ. Amen. And have a good day. Thank you. Our thanks to an anonymous donor from Richmond Hill, Ontario generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. Remember, if you can't sponsor a Mass, any contribution, no matter how small, will help keep daily Mass on television.